Liberty Bell Classic champion Lafayette Leopards taking the game 9-4 to over the Delaware Blue Hands. Coach Joe Kinney, can you talk about a little bit about the game? Our guys grounded, you know, grinded it out. Mark pitched a great game. He went into the eighth inning. That's the first time we've had a pitcher do that all year, and he only did it with 99 pitches, which is really economical. Uh, and, and important because we have a league game tomorrow. We play Lehigh and really saved our bullpen. I mean, that was a, that's obviously one is great, but to do that, it's just like it's icing on the cake. So that was really the story of the game. We ground out some at-bats. Uh, Jake got us going. Their pitcher was doing a decent job mixing and hit a lot of also short innings for him. Jake gets a home run, and then Luke gets a big hit that kind of got us going. And then Pat Nelson had a really, really tremendous at-bat with two outs, fouling a bunch of pitches off and, and clearing the bases with a double. And that really was a big difference. Can you talk a little bit about the stage playing here? I mean, you're playing at a Major League Baseball park for your seniors and for everybody on the team. This has to be such a huge moment. Can you talk about kind of the nerves coming into this and then how everybody dealt with it during the game? Uh, you know, it's all about the players. This, this type of event, it's an opportunity to play, obviously, in a Major League Stadium. It's a pretty cool experience, it's something I never had a chance to do when I played. Um, you know, we had a ton of traffic getting down here. Delaware did too. They canceled I.O. because they had a game and weather and everything like that. I think that diffused a little bit of the nervousness. Just we got here, it was like, hey, man, let's just go play, you know, and and that's what guys do. They're, they're, they're young men and you show up and play and they played hard and they put themselves in a position to win and they won. So what you're saying is the key player tonight was I-95? Uh, no, I mean, the guy, this guy right here really led the charge the whole way. And, and the guys we already mentioned with you know the big at bats, uh, that didn't hurt. I think it just it, you know if we got here and we had to sit in the stands, cold and wait and not be able to take IO, sometimes a little frustration sets in. It was like hey, just go and play, you know, just like when you're a kid. Well, Joe, congratulations. Good luck tomorrow against Lehigh. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. Mark Anderson, seven and a third innings pitch, two runs given up on four hits. Can you talk a little about your performance tonight? Um, you know, with the weather and everything. It was, uh, it was kind of tough to get going, and obviously we didn't have a whole lot of time. So, I don't know, I just try to keep it simple. So I heard you're a diehard Phillies fan. Can you talk a little bit about what it's like playing here at Citizens Bank Park? Yeah, growing up, uh, you know, watching a lot of games here, it was, it's really cool to have an have a time, experience like in the same ballpark as a lot of great, great Phillies that I've grown up watching. So tomorrow you go to Lehigh. Can you talk a little bit about your preparation now? You're going back to league play, back to games that we need to win so we can get into the Patriot League tournament, Patriot League playoffs. Can you talk a little bit about how the mindset now changes coming off this incredible high? I mean, it's just trying to keep the ball rolling. I mean, you know, we haven't had a whole lot of momentum going into tonight. And, you know, with tonight's win, especially here, like, it's something that we can build off of. Well, Mark, congratulations on the win. Thank you. That'll do it here from Citizens Bank Park. The Lafayette Leopards are Liberty Bell Classic champions with a final score of 9-4. to Tomorrow, they play in Bethlehem against the Lehigh Mountain Hawks at 3.30. For everyone here at the Lafayette Sports Network, I'm John Sabino.